Yeah, um, th thanks for the, for the introduction. Um, yeah, I'm presenting um, JSXCraft 3D in Mumie. Um, maybe first, um, uh, some few words about me. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm not only employed in virtual learning, but also a half-time employed at the Aachen University, um, where I teach uh, mathematics to the first year uh, students in the STEM. Yeah, mainly engineers, but also um, mathematicians and so on. And also since I think it started in 2013 um, that I developed um, uh, content, uh, open educational resources. So I am I was part of the, um, uh, one of the people um, building up the OMB Plus, the online mathematics bridge course. Um, and uh, later uh, the uh, Heim for Mint, so the mathematics for for the STEM students um, online course and also a training course at, at the FR Aachen where I was also some years ago. So that's kind of my uh, univers uh, university side of my career. And yeah, during developing these things, I got in contact with Integral Learning and um, now I'm... Oh, why can't I switch to the next? Light, wait. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, so yeah. During um, developing these uh, online uh, material, I got in contact with Integral Learning, and now I'm also half employed at that company, um, where I develop software for such online material, um, and in particular, um, interactive visualizations, uh, using JSX Graph, um, and. Yeah, um, I mean, what is this company, Integral Learning? I mean, it's a small company um, founded as a spin-off of uh, TU Berlin. And yeah, we are really dedicated to enhancing teaching and learning of mainly mathematics and computer science. And yeah, and, and the MUMI that is in the title uh, of my talk, um, that is our um, our platform um, where we um, have this online material. Um, and yeah, so, so, uh, so it supports, um, static and also interactive content like the interactive visualizations. Um, yeah, you have single exercises, which are automatic corrected worksheets and also can complete courses like the OMB Plus that I, uh, already mentioned, the online mathematics bridge course. Um, yeah, we also have a plugin so that you can integrate this Mumie material uh, into Moodle, Elias, or StudIP. And so, so from our perspective, the good thing is then that you can better share it with other LMS because often you have problems getting stuff. Yeah, for example, stack questions from Moodle to Elias or other way around, or if the Moodle version changes, then something doesn't work anymore. Um, yes. Um, and yeah, we also want to have, keep it simple for people to create content. Um, so our content is then, so for authors, it's just kind of a LaTeX style um, that you have to write. And yeah, and um, yeah, we have, a, for that, we have a web-based authoring tool, WebMeow. Um, and of course, there's support from us. Um, so that's about Mumia, and now really um, um, with the visualizations in Mumia, we started in 2020 um, when we, yeah, to because we had old visualizations which which became very slow and so on, and now we and then we saw that oh, um, JSX Graph is really great. Um, that would be great to to have that, and yeah, and so, so we started in 2020 to include just this, uh, uh, JavaScript code in Mumia text, yeah, so that you can just, these very nice examples that are available on the web page so that you can just uh, put them in, into Mumia also and use them there. And yeah, and then we also develop more so that you not only have the visualizations themselves, but that you can, that they interact with the text. So syn they synchronize the text and, um, and the boards and also several boards uh, can interact easily yeah, between each other. And also we um, um, 
yeah, made a connection between the uh, graphics and and kind of our um, yeah corrector system, um, so that you can easily write uh, uh, graphical exercises. You know. So li like the screenshot that I have here on the right side, so that um, yeah, where the student has to put the arrow in the right place, um, yeah, so that it's kind of an eigenvector. And yeah, blue there is the original vector. In red, you have the image under under the linear transformation, and then it corrects what what the student did there. Yeah, and then we saw okay, ah, JSX is developing three D. That's great because we were looking really for three D, uh, and yeah, and so that's what I told you today. That yeah, we uh, integrate now JSX of three D into Mumi also, like like uh, we had with a two D, and yeah, this is um, it's a cooperation with Avdia uh, Aachen. Um, actually, uh, it's a project uh, of my wife Catherine Morichet. She she's also at MIT Aachen, and yeah, she has, uh, for those in Germany who know about the Freiraum project, it's uh, called Visualisieren der Mathematik Aufgaben. Okay, and that uh, framework, yeah, we we made the, um, no, the software to make, integrate the JSX curve, and they will create a lot of content, which then is also uh, open source. Okay. So, okay, but now, um, yeah, what what is possible now with uh, J six graph in Mumia? Um, first here the screenshot. Um, um, how it looks like in our, in our authoring tool. Yeah. So on the left hand side, um, you have the Latich code, and on the right hand side, you, you get the visualization on the text, and you see so all all that. One has to write so for this interactive thing, um, as you can enter the code or well, the function term, and it will display it here. Um, I mean, the interaction goes in both ways. Usually, I mean, in that one only, you can change uh, uh, code here, and uh, the term term here in that thing. Um, yeah, and the code that you have to write is really kind of really small. You know, it starts with begin content, ends with end content. Okay, there's some around like some um, package that you have to load and uh, wrapper, but then you just define title, some variables. Here it's just a function, um, and yeah, and you for drawing the canvas. Yeah, you have a uh, environment. Canvas, it's called canvas X Y Z in that case because the three dimensional thing and um, yeah you define the sizes the ranges of your axes um, yeah you can add labels to the axes and here you plot uh, tells you what, what to plot so the function f will be plotted and um, coordinate system and the z plane rear so the the bottom plane to the z axis. Yeah, and then also you can write text. And as you see here, there's even um, you can do it in different languages and separate the thing with just this lang environment. And yeah, and you refer to the function, the variable they have defined just with with a kind of backslash bar and in the app. So I mean, really quite simple to write, and and everything that with the interaction and the, and the um. Uh, Interaction between the canvas and the text. This is made part in, in the background. Yeah. So that was the screenshot, and now you see it uh, live. We oh, get the. So now, now you see it. <laughs> so that's the same thing. Um, yeah. On, on the left hand side, we have also the. Um, uh yeah, the file tree um for all stuff which and now I can show you uh if I change here the code uh, let's do a plus one then immediately it goes up 
and you have the thing that uh, um, JavaScript provides, of course, with the sliders, you can move around, or, or also with the mouse, you can move around your drawing. Okay, so that, that's kind of the, the simplest thing where I just want to show you um, um, how it looks like in, in Mumia, in the source code that you, um, that it's kind of just the, that you define variables which you can use in the um, uh, in the canvas and also in the text and they interact in, with each other. And yeah, make it a bit more, uh, uh, okay. so, so the next step that, that one might want to have is, okay, um, we don't want only, um, oh. so, so not, not only draw the thing, but also um, maybe have a point on the plane. Okay. Or even more, so the next thing I want to show is that, that we not only have, uh, um, the 3D corners, so but also a 2D thing, and so that we kind of first um, show the X Y plane where we can move more point, and then um, uh, have the so that's example here. So we have just a 2D thing um, with the X and Y plane uh, and the point here to move. And then in the 3D canvas, we see also the point again here and um, point on the uh, corresponding point on the surface. And yeah. Um, yeah, and then the thing, so um, yeah, we can just move the point here. And so how I did it is that if I move that point, also the, these two points are moved and also the segment between the two points is moved. And also in text, it shows the coordinates or you can also change the coordinates in the text and it moves in both canvases. Yeah. Uh, or I can change my function term, uh, yeah, just for simplicity, just move at one half so it moves up and also the point moves up. And in the in the in the source code, um back to the source point on surface, um it's not much more that we have to do. Um so what I had had to do is of course I have to find a point with two coordinates. Yeah. Uh, also it has to be editable so that I can move it around and Edit in the text. Um, yeah, I define numbers for the coordinates of the point, uh, and then I use these coordinates uh, for for other things. So for the point, a three D point, yeah, with the third coordinate zero, and another three D point where I evaluate f. So I will x at p x and y and p y, and at the third coordinate of the other point, and then I define the segment being just the segment connecting P0 and, oh, uh, yeah. So these two points, you know, that's uh, what you have. Let's look at the quick preview here. So that's what we see here. So, so that's the P0 down here and that's the P on F. And yeah, we made in the background in that way that if this thing is not edible, then it just really depends on the on the stuff here. So if I move my P here, then the PX will change, the PY will change, and also the points here, they change accordingly. And yeah, and then I just, instead of having just this canvas X, Y, Z that I had, I also have a canvas, kind of usual canvas, um, with some sizes uh, where I put the P, and in the other canvas, I pull up the, all these F, P on F, P0 and S. Um, and yeah, and additionally, what I have here is also that um, maybe you recognize that the view that I had here is not was not the standard one that you have in the beginning, but I changed it a little um, so that 
yeah, so that the student sees better that, okay, that this is the xy axis, and here we have the xy plane in the bottom, which is a little bit uh, shifted, but not not too much. And so that's what I have here with the um, this option on the left, the slider starts. Um, yeah, I gave the numbers for the azimuth, the elevation, and the bank. Yeah, and the text as before, just use var p and uh, on the p. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, of course. Um, I mean, this is kind of just the first thing, so so that that you people can. see then okay the point here corresponds really just to the x y point here and then we have the point on the curve but of course you want to do a little bit more in in, in analysis when you have multi-dimensional thing but for example uh do tangent vectors and um yeah and that's kind of the main example that i want to show you this is really more more advanced um um but also just some more lines of code. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so now what I have is uh, I want to sh uh, show what the directional derivative of a function is um, graphically. Yeah, so I have here my point P and the direction V. Um, and then in, in the second canvas in the 3D one, um, I show um, yeah, we have down here again the point and the direction. Um, we map this up to the um, so the point up here is, is on the surface, um, and yeah, and I have the plane, uh, the vertical plane uh, in the direction of of the vector v, and of course, and then here the the intersection um, curve of that plane with our uh, surface. And yeah, and so this upper green vector is then really the tangent vector to this curve. Um, so also inside the plane, yeah, if I move that a little bit around, one sees it sees quite good. Um, yeah, and then the text explains, okay, so the directional derivative of, of this function f um, at the point p in direction of p um, as kind of the oriented length of the brown line. Yeah, so it's, and yeah, and it's not, uh, on the night things really that it's not static, but I can move the point, oh, it's slow, move the point, um, uh, and then it moves here and everything. Oh, I move, adapts here. Okay, well, you see the the direction which was minus zero point zero two though that's why we don't see it really um go up here yeah for some reason it's up here yeah I have to check why why it, why it gets a little bit slow here um maybe because of <clears throat> because I show it on with zoom um. Yeah, and um, yeah, now we have it here. Okay, the thing. And yeah, and I also can change uh, the vector here in the um, uh, in the text. So for example, uh, instead of minus one, I do minus 1.5 and And then what? Yeah, yeah. And then add up here. Here minus one point five, and also here it. Oh, got the right one, and also up here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When I showed that yesterday uh, to uh, some 
other people uh, that told me, okay, maybe I sh shouldn't, uh, it should, should be better to um, be able to, to change the, the vector also here in, in the, in the, te um, in the canvas. Um, and I mean, this would also be possible. You have to just make it a little bit different. Um, namely, oops. Yeah, now my computer is really slowing down. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, you have to yeah define them, find like a little different. So, for example, that you uh, define an invisible circle around P and then a glider on the point P that you move. Um, okay, yes. Oh, so, oops, that was that example. And, um, going back to, to my slides, um, Yeah, so, so these were, were the th three um, examples that I, that I showed you. And I, um, yeah, I will do also screenshots of the other examples in the slides before I upload them um, to, to the Moodle. And yeah, and I mean, if you got interested in the possibilities that you can have, I um, mean, you can have a look at our web page um, on integral learning D or, um, and to see more about what, what, can Mumia do? Um, then we have our demo page. Um, I don't have the uh, 3D visualizations in there yet, but I will do that, I think, tomorrow, um, or maybe today after after the conference, um, and then you can see them also there. Um, yeah, um, and of course, um, I'm free to be asked. Yeah, you can ask me directly or in the chat or via email. So that's my email address at Um Yeah, and if you really want to write out, out here um, by yourself, um, yeah, writing a little bit of the code and so on. Um, unfortunately, we don't have really a publicly available tryout page yet. Um, we'll have that at some point. <laughs> um, yeah, but, but um, we can easily uh, provide you with a test account to our web mail. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Just write to me and we'll do that. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks uh, for your attention and I hope you liked it.